Mercedes will build its own Tesla-style charging network. Mercedes-Benz has said that it will build its own international charging network for electric cars, starting in North America. This is to compete with Tesla, which is the market leader when it comes to selling electric cars. Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Fast Forward. In today's episode, we are going to tell you about Mercedes building its own Tesla-style charging network and much more. So let's dig in. The German luxury car maker announced on Thursday at the CES Gadget Show in Las Vegas that it will start building the North American charging network this year at a total cost of just over 1 billion euros or 1.05 billion dollars. The company says that the network will be finished in about six or seven years and will have 400 charging stations with more than 2,500 high power plugs. The station will be located along major highways and in urban areas and will be compatible with all EV models. The goal of the charging network is to make long-distance travel in the EV as convenient as possible and to support the growth of Mercedes-Benz's own EV offerings. After networks are finished in Europe, China, and other places, the whole network should be finished by the end of the decade. Depending on how the market is doing at the time, the company plans to only sell electric cars. Ola Kalinas, the head of Mercedes-Benz board of director, told reporters that there will be more than 2,000 charging stations and more than 10,000 plugs around the world. The company said that all electric vehicle owners will be able to use the Mercedes-branded network. However, Mercedes owners will be able to reserve charging points and have priority over owners of other models. With this move, the company will be better able to compete with Tesla, which says on its website that it has 40,000 charging stations around the world. Even though Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has said that there are plans to let other brands use the network, it is mostly only for Tesla car owners to use. The network gives Tesla an advantage over other companies that make electric vehicles, which have to rely on a random collection of charging stations that are owned and run by private companies. Each Mercedes station will have between 4 and 12 charging connections, each with a maximum capacity of 350 kilowatts. Mercedes and MN8 Energy, a large solar energy and battery storage company in the United States, will each pay half of the cost of the North American network. ChargePoint, which runs a network for charging electric cars, is also involved in the project. Marcus Schaefer, who is in charge of technology at Mercedes, says the network would ease customers' worries about not having enough range to get to their destination and not being able to find a working charging station. Schaefer said, We thought we had to go further and take the initiative here and create our branded global Mercedes-Benz network. This was a reference to the fact that other charging networks are in the process of being made. The charging hubs will be built in major cities and areas with a lot of people. They will be close to major roads and within walking distance for places to shop and eat. The company says that some of them will be sold at select Mercedes dealerships. Schaefer said, We know where our customers are in North America. We know where we're selling electric vehicles. Schaefer made it clear that the stations will not be put in the back of shopping malls next to a trash can, but rather in a safe, well-lit place. Mercedes is shifting its focus on models that can make more money so that it can pay for the cost of switching to electric vehicles or EVs. The company wants to cut down on the number of cars in its entry-level lineup so it can put more effort into making high-end cars, like its flagship S-Class sedan and G-Class sports utility vehicle. Mercedes makes the EQS SUV and the EQE SUV, which are both electric cars, at the Mercedes-Benz U.S. International Plan at Tuscaloosa County, Alabama. Mercedes has said that building its own charging network will help support the luxury-first approach, even though drivers of competing cars will be able to use the chargers. Those who own cars made by the same company will have priority. Many people think that making rapid charging stations easy for customers to find is one of the best ways to ease their worries about switch to electric vehicles. Because of how long it takes to charge the battery and how long the battery lasts, electric cars may not be good for long-distance travel. This is especially true if you can't charge the car quickly on the side of the road, instead of at a regular electric outlet, which is much slower. In the United States, the market for electric cars has been growing at a slower rate than in Europe. This is probably at least partly because more people in the United States drive on routes that are considered long-distance trips in Europe, which has more people living in a smaller area. Infrastructure is still in its early stages, and estimates show that huge investments will be needed quickly if Western countries want to reach their goal of switching almost entirely to electric vehicles in the next few years. To reach these goals, the infrastructure will need to be built pretty quickly. A report from the consulting firm McKinsey that came out not too long ago said that Europe would need as many as 3.4 billion fast charging ports by the year 2030, which is when the EU plans to stop selling new gasoline or diesel cars. The European Automobile Manufacturers Association, or ACEA, estimates that this number has roughly doubled again. Thursday in Las Vegas, Kalnias said that he was optimistic about the possibility that supply would be enough to meet the expected sharp rise in demand. 
He said that he expected many other groups, like the fossil fuel companies that run most of the gas stations drivers use now, to start investing a lot in the infrastructure. In particular, he said that he thought fossil fuel companies would put money into electric cars. VW and its subsidiaries, Audi and Porsche, have similar plans to build a lot of new fast charging stations quickly, with the goal of opening about 45,000 new stations by 2025. Mercedes-Benz is among the many automakers competing with Tesla in the electric vehicle market. Mercedes, a division of Daimler AG, has a range of electric and plug-in hybrid models available for sale, and plans to expand its offerings in the future. Mercedes has invested heavily in the development and production of EV, and has set a goal of having electric and plug-in hybrid models make up between 15 to 25% of its total sales by 2025. This is similar to Tesla, who also manufactures and sells electric vehicles. Both companies also have their charging infrastructure available for their own electric vehicles and also other EVs, so a major area of competition between Mercedes and Tesla is the convenience and accessibility of their charging networks. However, Mercedes has a long tradition of producing luxury vehicles, and it is planning to focus on the high-end segment of the EV market, while Tesla has been targeting the mass market with its electric vehicles. In addition to this, Mercedes also has a wide range of petrol and diesel vehicles and not just electric vehicles, which make it a multifaceted automaker. Not just Mercedes, but several other automakers are currently competing with Tesla in the electric vehicle or EV market. Some examples include BMW, having a range of EVs available, including the i3 and iX3. The company has announced plans to expand its EV lineup in the future, and also to increase its production capacity. Then we have the Audi, having the range of a plug-in hybrid and fully electric vehicles, including e-tron SUV, e-tron Sportsback, and e-tron GT. They also announced plans for increasing the number of electric models to 30 by 2025. Volkswagen, through its ID family of vehicles, is planning to release a range of fully electric vehicles, including the ID3 hatchback, ID4 crossover SUV, and ID5, ID6, and other similar vehicles. Also, Ford has announced plans to release several fully electric vehicles in the coming years, including the Mustang Mach E and the Ford F 150 Electric. And at last, the Chevrolet has announced plans to release several fully electric vehicles under the Chevrolet brand, including the Chevrolet Bolt. These companies, along with many others, are investing heavily in the development and production of electric vehicles in order to compete with Tesla in the growing EV market. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back soon with more amazing content, so stay tuned. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our latest updates. And if you have any views regarding this video, tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.